All right, what's up, guys? We're back uh, with another film study. This time, Jeff Glover versus Kyle Terra Two at Metamoris. Um, yeah, I haven't watched this, so we'll see. Yeah, see what happens. I think this is a. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of. There we go. I think this is because Jeff won the first time. And, uh, yeah. They're just kind of playing around at the start there, so. Glover goes double unders to start there. Kyle inverts, or whatever rolls in. I'm not entirely sure if this is like 100% yet, but anyways, uh, uh, they're both kind of flowing. Go back to standing, Kyle pulls, has both, has Glover's legs both kind of pinned, Glover sits. So the rule set is also different here. It's metamorphs, so it's submission only. It's not the IBGF, I think. Or it's just not... At least IBGF rules before they were competing. And so they're definitely yeah, playing a lot more loose. I mean, even more loose than they normally do. Even the last match we watched, it was, it was very... Uh, Is very loose and playful here. So Glover goes for a little uh, either knee bar and then he switches to a toe hold. And Kyo goes for one. Glover kind of showboating a little bit. But Glover playing donkey guard. Impossible yard. Kyle double unders, trying to go double unders. Glover doing a decent job at getting his feet in between. You know, Kyle, Kyle's pant grips. Kyle with a knee in. Maybe looking to knee cut. Maybe looking to flop here. Glover getting the lapel out. Okay, getting a little lapel grip across Kyle's back. Loses it or lets it go. Glover could ghost here. Uh, Kyle with a Kimura grip. Could go armbar. Could roll through. Kyle could pull on Glover's leg and roll through. I imagine, or oh, going triangle. Could go Oma Plata. Yep. It's also, since this is this isn't IBGF rules, Kyo Terrace using a little in the pants grip. You're technically not supposed to put your fingers in the pants or in the like inside of the sleeves or the pants. So because it's a really strong grip, but you can also just break your fucking fingers, so. Um, Kyle getting the angle for, ooh, for like a crooked arm bar. The Glover taking the back. So, so here, Kyle, yeah, throws his leg over 
Glover's face to try to get give like a crooked arm bar, but Glover has his elbow too far out. That's his elbow right there. And Glover has that um, this back of the gi grip, like the neck grip, and he's able to take Kyle's back or start to at least. Kyle comes up. So Kyle is able to fend it off, fend off the back take by grambying, and then gets his feet, gets his one foot, his left foot, gets his left foot in. I can't really see how he does that, but he like he pummels it in. So here it's out. And then he puts it in. He puts it on Glover's chest. So he's keeping his one, his at least one foot, his left foot in between Glover and the back. So that really stops the the back take. Allows him to come up and play from top. On three quarter mount, has Glover's arm jacked up a little bit. Looking like he's trying to force mount. Glover tracking that leg with his half guard. Now Kyle managed to get that leg out, couldn't really see what that was, but here Glover has was able to snake that leg for a uh, like a De La Hiva, but more reaping, very reapy De La Hiva. Tara Barambolowing. I think we saw this in the last match too. Is that Glover like controls this foot to prevent the bolo or threatens the foot lock to to make Kawatera square back up or at least discourages the bolo. Kautera comes back on top. Kautera in a... He was in like a little dope mount position. Or not dope mount. Um, like a leg drag. Like we... Um, let's see if he just passes. No, he's just... He's just chilling in that leg weave position. He's got good... Chest to chest pressure using the grips. All right, he's good. Oh, Glover with the darts throws a darts. So, so Kyotera has his underhook. He has Glover's underhook. So, so that's like what Kyotera wants. But Glover uses that to his advantage. Starts throwing a Dars, and then Kautera needs to react to that. So he comes back, he kind of flops back to avoid it because because two things that well, eh, I don't I don't think Glover necessarily needs the legs, but he's looks like he's pretty he was in pretty deep enough to make Kyle react. Glover in uh, still the leg drag position, Kyle inside control. Glover not in such a hurry. Wow, that's a nice, 
That was a nice little back take. So, Kowatera has collar, like the back of the collar and the leg, and then he sits. And I think Glover kind of helps him here. Yeah, he kind of used Glover's momentum. I'm trying to take the back. Doesn't quite get it. Doesn't keep it, but that was a pretty close back take. Kyle going for a. He has a. I think he had the arm, but it wasn't wasn't like a super deep hook. So that allows Glover to get his legs in between. Now they're in a little straight Ashi situation. Glover's in straight Ashi. Glover with the toe press. Tara looking for his signature leg lock, maybe. Nah, just looking to Bolo. He kind of stops short there. I think it's because Glover's managing the legs here. So he doesn't quite make it to the back because Glover's holding on to his legs. Again, Glover with that toe hold to discourage the Barambolo. Glover on the foot. Toe press. Toe hold. Oh, shit. That looks, that looks deep, but Kauter is not, not impressed. Glover, reverse de la Hiva. Glover opening up. Kyos. He. His lapels. Gets the over the back lapel grip. Kautero once again goes to Kimura grip. Over the head. Kimura grip. Glover has a little like inside frame on the back of Kyotero's right tricep. Because so yeah, so that's preventing the Kimura grip. So see how Kyo's right arm isn't like Kyo's are, to to get a Kimura grip, Kyo would have to use his right arm and grab Glover's uh, left arm there. But since Glover is Hooking the back of that of Kyle's tricep, Kyle can't get the Kamor grip. So that's yeah, actually a very smart defense. Glover's pull, holding on to that right arm. So you can't get that Kamor grip. Now Kyle has a deep hook. He's going into like a kind of spider web. He's got a leg scissors around Glover. Kautar doesn't have terribly deep hooks here. Like he's got he's like wrist deep. Not not to criticize his arm bar or anything. I'm just telling how it is. I'm, not, I'm not, not saying he sucks or anything like that, but yeah. He's got like a wrist deep, so it's not terribly like... Doesn't have a terrible mile leverage. Now he's getting... He's adjusting. So the elbow's deeper. Glover's like, no. Kyle 
Kyle going for that opposite arm. Securing that opposite side arm prevents Jeff Glover from rolling away now, or really prevents really prevents the escape. Jeff Glover with really strong armbar defense, grabbing his own pants. Like look how deep it is. Like his fingers are on the other side of his leg. So that that's a lot of a lot of room for him to uh, to hold on to. And Kautera has that, like, he's not in, like, a traditional armbar position. He's in a, this kind of, yeah, like, leg scissors armbar position. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes on top a little bit. Trying to adjust on top. Kautera's trying to work that hand from being so deep inside of uh, Glover's knee pit. Like, Glover's knee hand is like way like deep inside of his knee, which makes it very difficult for Pow to free it, to armbar it. Jeff Glover can, Pow is giving him room to come up maybe. Pow switching probably to a triangle here, like a side triangle. So if Glover comes up, he puts himself into a triangle. So it kind of adds a predicament. Kyle securing a secondary arm. Preventing a Glover escape. Glover's just content to just hang out. Yeah, this is a tricky escape because Glover can't come up because he'll walk right into a triangle. Glover's route to escape is likely just going through, going backing out of Kyle's legs, but Kyle's not going to allow that. Now Kyle's more of on a back triangle. Now the angle's changed a little bit. Kyle's more on the back a little bit. Kyle's separated that arm from Glover's leg. That's actually very. That that's that's now I see the point of going for that secondary arm, is that Gl makes Glover forget a little bit on that about that uh, primary arm. Yeah. So since Kai was pulling that secondary arm up, um, threatening it. Glover is holding onto it with his primary arm. So since he doesn't want to get a, I think like that's like a shoulder splay or something like that. So now Kyle changes the angle to more diagonal, more towards the back, more of a back triangle. And now he's able to get Glover's primary arm. Uh, Glover's in, Glover's in trouble here. Like, this is, this is not looking good. Kautera being very patient. Glover, <laughs> inverting, trying to make something happen, trying to change the angle such that Kautera is less on the back. Le it's less of a back triangle now. It's more of a side triangle. Now it's kind of more back triangle. Yeah, the angle changes everything about that armbar. Like the, the angle of where Kyle was pulling from. That, that was 
very interesting. Cow. Oh man. Pulls it out. Is he able to get it? Yeah, so Glover finally, I don't know, I don't know what made Glover pull his, maybe he's trying to escape or something, but he finally, kind of finally has that like palm to palm connection here, and is able to free the arm, arm bar, Glover has to tap. That was a great rematch. Anyways, uh, yeah, all those little deets, all the little adjustments that Kyo did uh, were super interesting on finishing that armbar. So, anyways, like and subscribe, all that kind of stuff. See you guys later.